Today, we're diving into the latest wave of Tesla news, and there's a lot to unpack. Tesla has been moving incredibly fast, validating robotaxis with LiDAR, rolling out changing incentives on brand new vehicles, quietly hiding new prototypes at Giga Texas, updating full self-driving with more relaxed driver monitoring and introducing brand new paid and physical upgrades for the latest generation of its vehicles, a lot is happening behind the scenes. Many of these changes point directly toward Tesla's next major shift in both software and hardware. So let's get into it. Tesla has always been known for software updates, rolling out improvements to cars that customers have owned for years, often making the vehicles better over time. Many of these updates come free adding new features, improving performance, and strengthening the driving experience. But once in a while, Tesla also introduces optional hardware, changes retrofits that customers can purchase if they want an upgraded look or a newly introduced piece of technology. Some hardware retrofits replace something Tesla removed earlier. Others are completely new and give owners a chance to update their vehicle's feel without buying a new car. This week, Tesla introduced its newest interior upgrade, a charcoal suede dashboard. Decor wing priced at $250. This is a trim swap, basically a stylish insert that changes the dashboard surface material and appearance. Tesla describes this as an upgrade that adds a deeper matte gray finish, soft touch texture, and 100% vegan suede. It's specifically designed for the newest refreshed versions of the Model 3 and Model S. So, the 2024 Plus Model 3, and the upcoming 2025 Plus Model Y, Tesla emphasized that this isn't a DIY part. You can't just order it and stick it on yourself. It must be installed at a Tesla service center. So for owners who purchased the newest Model 3 or Model Y, but didn't get the launch edition that came with a more premium trim, this gives them a way to elevate the look. Model 3, owners especially performance buyers. Who get the carbon fiber trim by default? may also want to switch to this new suede look. It's a small addition. Yes, and very specific. It's not a massive upgrade and probably won't be extremely popular. But Tesla offering it at least gives more personalization choices to owners of the refreshed models. And small or not, it's interesting to see Tesla inch closer to Ward, offering more interior customization options. Something many customers have wanted for years, now shifting from the interior to the software side. Tesla has been rolling out its latest full self-driving update, version 13.29. And this one is particularly important because it addresses one of the biggest frustrations among owners, overly strict driver monitoring. For the past few versions, Tesla moved away from steering wheel nags and instead relied heavily on the in-car camera system that watches the driver's eyes. This system was designed to ensure drivers stay attentive but it has often been too sensitive. Many people have reported being perfectly alert while still receiving warnings or strikes because the system didn't correctly interpret their eye movements. Tesla owners know the feeling. You glance at the center screen to check navigation or identify a supercharger location, and suddenly the system thinks you're not paying attention. For many users, this has resulted in unwarranted strikes and even temporary suspension of FSD access. I recently experienced this myself, looking for a nearby supercharger on the map, while driving with FSD turned on, led to a cutoff. Even though I made sure to keep my eyes forward as much as possible, this latest update aims to fix that problem. Tesla has reduced the strictness of interior camera monitoring, meaning drivers now have more leeway to glance at the screen for tasks like navigation without immediately triggering an alert. Tesla's VP of Autopilot confirmed the change publicly, saying it was needed and acknowledging that the system had become too. Strict for normal driving tasks, the overall objective here is clear. Tesla is working toward unsupervised FSD true autonomy where you don't have to pay attention at all. However, until regulators approve that stage, Tesla has to walk a careful line, ensuring safety while also making the system usable. This new update moves the experience closer to what drivers expect. Hands-off driving with occasional glances, loud without risking a strike. Many owners already have the update and others will receive it soon. 
but early feedback suggests the driving experience feels much more natural now. Next. There's big activity happening at Giga Texas. This is where Tesla builds the Model Y and the Cybertruck, and it has become one of the clearest windows into Tesla's future because of the constant drone surveillance by enthusiasts. One of the most dedicated drone pilots is Joe Tetmeyer, who consistently spots changes weeks before they're publicly confirmed. This week, something unusual appeared, a tent set up at the supercharger station. We've seen Tesla use tents before, but they always mean the same thing, they're hiding something. Tesla doesn't want drones or onlookers catching a glimpse of whatever vehicle is being charged under it. The question is, what exactly is under that tent? There are a few strong possibilities. One is the upcoming new performance model Y Tesla has been seen testing model. Ease with masked off bumpers and concealed front and rear sections, hinting that a major refresh is coming for the performance variant. New body panels or new lighting signatures could be hidden under that tent, making it a prime candidate. Another possibility, and perhaps the most exciting, is Tesla's new affordable, next-generation vehicle, sometimes called the $25,000 model, or simply the next-gen compact. Tesla has been hinting heavily that this car is coming soon. And given that the first production location is expected to be Giga Texas, it would make perfect sense for prototypes to be tested there. If the new compact or Model 2 were under the tent, Tesla would definitely want it hidden. Then there's the RoboTaxi. Tesla has officially unveiled the RoboTaxi's design, at least a version of it, but that doesn't mean everything is public. They might be hiding production prototypes or new testing configurations. We already know Tesla has been testing RoboTaxis near Giga Texas with various sensor setups. Some have been spotted with covers and modifications. If Tesla is testing wireless charging, which they have, shown as a future capability for RoboTaxis, this could be something. They don't want to reveal just yet. They may even be hiding a new charging port or experimental charging method. Or it could simply be a Model Y with new parts they don't want the world to see yet. Regardless, Tesla setting up a tent always means one thing. There is something visually different on that vehicle that would be immediately recognizable from drone footage. It's one of the clearest signs that Tesla is working on new hardware. Before we dive deeper, quick thanks goes to the sponsor of the video. Electric. Electric iBikes is one of the fastest growing electric bike companies in the United States. Their bikes are simple to use, easy to assemble, and designed specifically as electric first vehicles, not retrofitted bikes. Many arrive nearly ready to ride, and even the few models that need assembly can be built in just a few minutes. I recently had the chance to assemble and ride the Electric Express, and the difference compared to older e bikes is instantly noticeable. The motor feels refined, the pedal assistance is smooth, the throttle acceleration is clean, and the overall ride quality feels like it was engineered to be electric from day one. Their most popular model, the XP, is the third most toned electric vehicle in the entire United States only behind the Tesla Model 3 and the Tesla Model Y in 2023. Electric introduced more Americans to electric vehicles via their e-bikes than Ford Volkswagen and BMW combined. They've also built a strong reputation for affordability without sacrificing quality or safety. They were the first a bike brand to offer hydraulic brakes on bikes under $1,000. Many of their bikes reach speeds up to 28 miles per hour, offer 50 plus miles of range, and the long range expedition model can ride up to 170 miles on a single charge. They offer over 75 accessories and have partnered with charitable groups like Beast Philanthropy to help build community transportation solutions. Over half a million riders now use electric iBikes. You can click the link in the description or scan the on-screen QR code. And using code, Shaw gets you a free bike cover with your order. Now back to Tesla's incentives. Tesla frequently adjusts pricing and offers special bonuses to stimulate demand or reward buyers during specific periods. Right now, Tesla is offering one of the most aggressive sets of incentives we've seen in a long time. First, if you use anyone's referral link, Tesla gives you three free months of full self-driving capability. That alone is a strong offering because FSD is one of Tesla's biggest paid upgrades. Next, Tesla is offering 0% APR on the brand new Model 3. 
That means no interest payments at all, making monthly costs significantly lower. For the long-range all-wheel drive Model Y, Tesla is offering 1.99% APR still incredibly competitive, particularly in today's high interest market. Foundation Series Cybertrucks also have significant discounts attached right now, along with free supercharging. Tesla is trying to deliver those early Cybertruck builds as quickly as possible. They're also allowing free FSD transfers, meaning if you already have FSD on your older Tesla, you can move it to your new one without paying again. On top of that, Tesla is offering free paint colors and free interior upgrades for certain Model 3 trims. That's something Tesla rarely does, especially with newer refreshed models. These incentives together can save buyers thousands of dollars over the lifetime of ownership. Making now one of the best times in years to buy a Tesla if you're already in the market. But Tesla didn't stop there. They just rolled out two brand new incentives. The first is the expansion of their military discount. Previously, Tesla offered a $1,000 discount for military members. Now they've broadened that eligibility massively. The new discount applies to military members, first responders, teachers, and students. Tesla announced this by saying, Tesla vehicles are made in America perfect for everyday American life. By expanding this discount, Tesla is clearly trying to target people who often require reliable transportation but may not have the easiest path to purchasing a new vehicle. This expanded offer makes Tesla's more accessible for groups who serve the public and communities across the country and because this discount stacks with other incentives, like a PR deals or free upgrades, it can bring the effective cost of a Tesla down substantially. Taken together, all these incentives paint a clear picture. Tesla is preparing for something big, either major new product launches or upcoming shifts in demand. Historically, Tesla ramps up offers when new vehicles are on the horizon or when internal production is increasing faster than expected. Considering that Tesla's next-generation vehicles and robo-taxes are approaching their production timelines, this could be one of those moments. At the same time, Tesla wants to keep sales strong heading into the next quarter, especially with broader EV competition heating up. Their new discounts, updated software, hardware upgrades, and secret testing at Giga Texas all suggest that. Tesla's next chapter is already underway behind the scenes. These public changes are just the start. We'll continue following these stories as more information comes out, especially regarding what Tesla is hiding under that tent. How the new Model Y performance evolves. How quickly the reduced FSD monitoring rolls out to all owners. And when Tesla unveils the long-awaited compact vehicle, for now, that's everything in the latest Tesla update cycle. Thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more as Tesla continues moving at full speed into its next era.